Dirty old R.C. Bilsevere, eh? Friggin' right it is. Well, boys and girls, my daughter was complaining because the old Traxxas Rossler there wasn't fast enough, eh? She wasn't keeping up. And I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money. Frig, no, I'm not. So I got this little kid here I did from the old Hong Kongage boys. She was $29, and I figured for 29 bucks. What the hell, boys? Eh? What the hell? So what I got is I got a 4370 turn motor. Eh? The motor. And I've got ESC boys, eh? Friggin' decent. Look at it. Friggin' right. It says it's waterproof, boys, but uh I'm not gonna try it. Frig, no, I'm not. No water in that, boys, because I know what's gonna happen. <coughs> eh? Mm -hmm. And then the old motor there. She's gonna be pretty decent, boys. But it says it's good for up to 3S light bulbs, but we're not gonna do that. No, we're not. We're only gonna run 2S in her. Friggin' right we are. So enough of the gabbin. Let's get her slapped in. And we'll pull this one apart and uh, Bob's your friggin' uncle boys, eh? So I'll turn this this way and move this closer and turn it down a little bit so you can actually see what's really going on because I've never took one apart before I haven't. So it looks like we need a star handle screwdriver boys. So we'll pull this cover off like so. I'm not sure how many go in here to be honest with you. And it looks like three behind the tire, eh? Let's see if we can do this without pulling tires off it. That'd be friggin' decent. I'll put the link below, of course, for this little doodad. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like, eh? And hit that notification bell bar button. And that'd be freaking decent, boys. So we'll pull this screw out like so, which is right against the gear. And we'll pull this gear out like so, which is kind of against the gear. But hey, it is what it is, it is. We should be able to slap the other motor right in, boys. There we go. That was easy. So we're going to need the sprocket. We are. And I should have a tool for this thing, and I can't see. Oh, wait a minute, boys. Oh, decent. Freaking right it's decent. I can see, boys. Freaking right I can. Oh, yeah. Those were freaking mint. So we'll take that, put that over there, and we'll grab this new one, and we'll slide that on there like that, and we'll give her a Titan job, we will. There we go, boys. There we freaking go. So we'll slide this motor in like so, and she's going to have to come out. Or in, or out, or up or down, boys. You gotta find the hole, Jim. Oh, boys, I think I got her the first shot. Friggin' right I did. Just so you know, eh? There's two screws in there. See them? Decent. And I know they're not lined up yet, so don't tease me. Eh? Don't tease in the bilster, boys. Till I get her in, Jim. So now we gotta find the location of the screw holage. And there it is. So we won't snug them up yet because we're going to have to adjust the old ver ver on the old gear ratio. So we're going to have to move this out, pull this gear off, or loosen her off, like so, and bring her out, boys. Holy, it just barely reaches, man. Well, it is what it is, it is. What do you expect, eh? What do you expect for 29 bones, boys? So we'll give that a good crank, and we'll adjust the old doodad. <laughs> Let's tighten her up right there and see what happens, eh? You ever cranky cranky? Oh, it feels pretty good, boys. I think I got her the first shot I did. Let's see if there's a little bit of play in there. <laughs> I need a little bit more play in there, I think, boys. There she is right there. Hey, friggin' right it is. So there we go. That's all there is to changing that little motor, and that's a little motor it is. It's smaller than the friggin' original, boys. Eh? So now that we're done that, we can yank this thing out, like so. We need a screwdriver for that. Decent. Oh, we can put that housing back on, can't we? We got one long one here. I'm not sure where it goes. I'm thinking it goes here, because it holds the rear end together. Slap that in here, which I can't see. Oh, holy. I can see. Friggin' decent. I didn't have to take that one off, boys. Eh? It's amazing what you can see, when you can see. A waste of time that was. Pulling that off. That was for the wheelie bar, it was. Friggin' right it was. Why wouldn't it be? There we go. So remember, boys, says it's good up to 3S. But I would run too, I would. Says it's good for water. But I wouldn't take her in water, boys. Just so you know, eh? That's just coming from the old Bilsa. What do I know? I'm not an RC guy. Frig, no, I'm not. Just a rookie, boys. All right, so that's off. We're in. And now all we can do is take this thing apart and get the old wire out of there. And then it should almost be ready to friggin' go. This won't take long at all. Are you watching? Probably not. Why would you be watching? More screws, boys. Too big. Next. Hey, next. That's too big. I can tell you that right now. There it is. These tools are mint. She's a mint. She is. All right. So we need this one out, which is that one. There we go. That's it. So now we need to plug this one in. And it goes in channel two. Okay, boys. Channel two. Shouldn't doubt myself. I doubt myself sometimes. I do. And then I get myself all cocked over and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And then I get all clusterfuck. And then I friggin' just stick it in. And then I'm done, eh? Stick it in and you're done, boys. So 
So now that's plugged in, we can screw this back down, we can. It's gonna be less than five minute job, boys. Friggin' right it is. So we're gonna mount that like that. Somehow. Thinking a little two-way tape action is what I'm thinking, boys. Okay, and a zip tie maybe. And then that we gotta mount somewhere, which I'm thinking wherever, boys. Okay. Where the hell ever? So we'll stick that in here. We don't need much of that. So we're just gonna keep her short as possible. I wonder if I can get her underneath and up and over and through and across and down, boys. That'd be the way to do her. Take a nice long freaking zip tieage. What the hell is really going on? Oh well, we're gonna have to be huge. Mm, well, they match the shocks, eh? Match the springs, boys. So you wanna make sure your zip ties match the springs, boys, when you're doing this installation. Friggin' right you do. Why wouldn't you, right? Follow the leader. And I'm the leader today. Follow the old leader when I'm the leader, but don't follow the leader when you're not the leader. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Like I say, you never know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh boys, we almost got her. Oh, I had her too. She got away on me, she did. Oh, she got away on me again. For sakes. Well, here it is. There we go. We'll slot this on here like so. We'll fly her over here like so. We'll stick this on here like so. Oh, boys, this is gonna be mint. Nothing like a good zip tie. There we go. Now all we gotta do is tighten that back down so it doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't that look absolutely not mint at all, hey? And if you're ever not sure, boys, just take some silicone and just put a bead in here, hey? Bead her up, boys. That way you're a guaranteed, yard. What the frig? Guaranteed to friggin' blow up my doodad. Oh, oh, easy. She's got a clock, she does. Get the F out of there, you fucking thing. All right, there we go. Let's just take a little bit of this and we'll go, uh, 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 oh. For frig's sakes. Now the hole's gonna be like 10 times bigger than it should be. A little bit, a little squirt there. Like so. Goes this way. We'll put a little squirt in here like so. If I can get in here, for frig's sakes. Why does everything have to be so complicated? There we go, boys. It's part of the car once that dries. Decent. So now that we're done that monkey rigging, we can cut that off. And you can laugh at me all you want for this installation, but it's just a wrestler, boys. Why wouldn't you? So we'll slide this through here like so, and then we go blue to blue, red to red, and yellow to yellow. There we go. Friggin' right there we go. That's gonna be the quickest friggin' brushless system I've ever put in my life right there, eh? Not picky about it? Just stick her in, boys. Stick her in and go with her. And we even got a little switch here that we could probably put anywhere. Stick it right up your ass is what I'll do, you fucking thing. Like, what the hell? Where in the hell am I gonna put that stupid thing? Like, don't give us enough cord to put it anywhere. Why would you do that? Whatever, eh? Whatever, boys. So now we need a plug, we do. Plug adapter. See what we can find here. Please tell me I have a plug adapter so I don't have to cut the damn thing off and make a new one and that would suck ass and I'm not really into it right now. So there's a Traxxas plug adapter. Does it work? Oh, of course I have the big bastard on there. Oh, that's the wrong battery, that's why. That doesn't fit with the cock. Like what's really going on here? None of these terminals fit? Freaking stupid is that? I don't have one Traxxas adapter plug. Except for on here. I really don't want to change that one. I'm gonna have to. Oops. Oops. Pretty right, oops. See how much I care, boys. She's getting the Traxxas upgrade, she is. Well, I can't be bothered, boys. Because I'm just cocking it all over the place. I'll find a spot for this thing somewhere in the mess. Crank that on. Too small. My life story, boys. Friggin' right it is. I wish it was a law that RCs could only use one kind of connector for all of it. That would be so much nicer. Friggin' right it would be. But, hey, she's not a perfect world. She's not, unfortunately. That's the worst wire I've ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. We'll get that on there like that. And we'll have to wait for the solder gun, boys. We'll have to wait, we will. There we go, boys and girls. Two of the worst solder joists you'll ever see. Just take my word for it, eh? They're bad. Friggin' right they are. But, hey, whatever works, eh? Whatever the frig works. So now let's see if this thing friggin' works. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? Yes or no? Who the frig knows, eh? She is from Hong Kong, you know. So you never know. Could be trial or error, eh? Trial or error, eh? So we'll plug it in like so with the old Traxxas clips and we'll turn her on like so. Ready for it? Oh boys, I'm scared. Friggin' right I am. It's working. Friggin' right it's working. Turn the remote on, then turn her on, boys. Oh, decent. We'll see if she's, we'll see if she's faster, we will. She sounds brushless, she does. Let's see what happens, boys. Oh, yeah, boys. Let's try on the road where it matters, eh? She's spinning too much here. Oh, yeah. 
relatively faster. The only friggin' puddle there and I went through the damn thing. Now it's wet. I, what did I just say? Keep it out of the water, boys. I would. Friggin' right, I would. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, I can tell you one thing. She's definitely faster. Friggin' right, it's faster. Ooh, she's got water in place. Anyways, boys and girls, that's freaking works decent for a freaking $29 brushless system. 29 bucks, boys. And your wrestler could run like this, eh? Freaking right it could. Drive with one hand, boys. Freaking right I am. Cold? Warm. Oh, easy. And I don't even know what setting it's on, to be honest with you. Like, how do you even know what setting that thing is? I don't even know how to program it. For God's sakes, Jim. There you go, boys and girls, eh? Cheap little brushless system for the old Rossler, eh? Put the link below for it, like I said. If you want to sell one for your daughter to make the rest a little bit faster, that's the way you got to do, Ray. Eh? Freaking decent. Anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do, and, uh, you know what to do for now. Yeah.